Hi, everyone. Uh, this is our uh, Mission Monday. We're going to go more in depth in the 10 most popular oils. Yeah. So we are going to be, let's see, let's start with lemon. Lemon is really simple, really easy. Um, let's turn this around this way. So it's really good for a mild detox for your body. Just put a drop in a glass of water and you can drink it daily. Um, also really cool um, if you have anything that's sticky, like if you get gum in your hair or sticky tags on your you know, glass objects, you can just put a drop of lemon and you know the sticky stuff will come out. Next oil we're gonna go over is Digest Zen. Uh, when I first joined doTERRA, I didn't think I needed this because I hardly had any occasional aches and pains uh, in my stomach. Uh, but when you need it, it's good to have on hand. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run to the store. Uh, it's natural. It's safe. Uh, you can try just, you know, if you're feeling uh, some discomfort, you can try just applying it topically. You don't have to take it, uh, ingest it. Uh, other times I do ingest it. I put it and a small glass of water, just put a drop. Some people put in a veggie cap. Uh, it does have the smell of licorice um, that does come from the fennel, uh, but it's a blend of uh, fennel, uh, ginger, peppermint, uh, and a few other oils that make it really, really good for uh, digestive, supporting your digestive system. Yeah. And then so next is frankincense. Frankincense is the go to oil. Um, they say if you don't know what to use, try frankincense. Um, I use it for skincare. Um, I use it just to relax and calm down. Um, if I feel like I need a little bit, you know, over my heart, a little bit of um, discomfort with my emotions, um, I just rub a little bit of frankincense over my heart. Next oil, a lot of people are familiar with deep blue. Deep blue comes in roll-on form. It also comes in a rub. Uh, this is the original Deep Blue 5 milliliter bottle. Uh, it is great for your occasional aches and pains. Uh, one of, it has um, peppermint, which is a natural source of menthol. It has wintergreen, which is a natural source of methyl salicylate, which is found in a lot of your uh, topical creams and other things. Uh, but what topical creams don't have is like blue chamomile or blue tansy, which actually has a compound called camazoline, which is a very strong antioxidant uh, and anti-inflammatory. We also have helichrysum on osmenthus and camphor. And uh, a lot of people are concerned with camphor, uh, but this is uh, uh, white camphor. It doesn't have any neurotoxins in it. And so this is really good, really safe, very strong, very powerful. Essential oils are very powerful uh, for you know when you work out, you can apply it when you topically, or if you're just feeling those occasional aches and pains, uh, just use deep blue. Yeah, so I have peppermint. And so Holland mentioned that peppermint is in the deep blue. Um, peppermint we use for occasional head tension um, and occasional discomfort um, in the stomach as well as the digestion. Um, also, we love to bake with peppermint. It's really good in chocolate and brownies. You can do peppermint brownies. Yeah. I'm going to go over three <laughs> oils. Melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, oregano essential oil, and on guard essential oil. All of these have um, uh, immune boosting properties. Uh, the go-to oil in our family is On Guard. Uh, we love On Guard. We use On Guard toothpaste, On Guard beadlets, On laundry. Guard laundry detergent, uh, soft gels. Uh, On Guard is actually a blend of uh, rosemary, uh, clove, wild orange, a eucalyptus, and did we go over anything? Wild orange. Wild orange. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon bark. And you know, cinnamon and clove uh, are very immune supporting, uh, helps uh, cleanse the environment. Also great to diffuse, put it on the bottom of your feet. Uh, we diffuse this when we travel, uh, we take it internally, you know, with the on guard uh, soft gels just to keep our immune system up and up. 
And so it's very hot for some people. So some people like to dilute this oil and fractionate coconut oil. Uh, Melaleuca is a little more mild. You know, if you, you, you know, have children and, you know, On Guard is strong for them, um, you can tr use Melaleuca or tea tree oil as an alternative. Uh, there's a lot of benefits. You can look online. Uh, you probably have heard of a lot of benefits with the tea tree oil. Uh, you know, good for your hair. You know, there are a lot of hair care products as well. And um, definitely for some skin irritations and uh, some other issues. And I'll let Cassie talk about lavender and then I'll talk about oregano. Yeah, so lavender pairs really well with the melaleuca. Um, good for the occasional scrapes and cuts um, that we tend to get. And um, also good for relaxation, uh, lessening of stress. And so it's really nice to smell. Um, you can make a spray and before bed, um, just spray your pillows and your linens. Oregano. Oregano I use as uh, one of those emergency oils. You know, when you have something that you want to kick and Angar is not cutting it, you can just add oregano to boost it up. It does have a compound called uh, Carvacrol, which is a phenol, very, uh, very strong. A compound that um, has a lot of cleansing properties. It also makes it very hot. So if you use oregano, definitely, definitely dilute. Uh, if you digest oregano, um, some people like to do it internally, you know, if they're feeling discomfort in their throat. For me, it's very hot. Um, sometimes some people are used to taking oregano oil, beef oil of oregano, but when they try doTERRA's oil, uh, oregano, it's very, very, very potent. So definitely uh, can use it and then if there's some you know skin tags some people mm -hmm. use oregano But again, it's very hot either dilute or just make sure that when you're applying it You're just applying very little not even the the drop less than a drop you use a toothpick or a q-tip to lightly uh, touch it um, the area of, of application with dilution and just kind of go over time don't try to do it all at one time and you'll see amazing results and last we have is Breathe, which is one of my favorites. Um, I use Breathe for um, my respiratory system um, because I do have some respiratory issues and concerns. So I apply the Breathe um, almost daily, either on the bottoms of my feet or directly on my chest. And I like to um, just inhale, you know, with a little inhaler just like this. So it gets directly to my lungs and supports my lungs in that way. So Breathe ha is a blend of laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom, um, ravens, sarah, and ravent sarah leaf oil. So really good for respiratory support. Very good. So those are our 10 most popular oils. You can read more about them online uh, in depth. And uh, we'll be continuing the series. Uh, every Monday, we'll have a new video. And uh, just join us. Right now, we're in the Philippines, so we have to pre-record a lot of this. And uh, sometimes we'll be out and about. So we're in Quezon City right now. We'll be heading to Isabella, which is a province in the Philippines. And uh, we'll see you next time. So thank you for joining us. Bye.